In this tutorial, we'll fix your issue when your dropdown is not working. All right, so the most common reason that your dropdown is not working is because you're not linking to the correct bootstrap version or you don't have both the CSS and the JavaScript uh, portions. So what you need to do is you need to go to the bootstrap website. It's called getbootstrap.com, which always shows you the latest version. We're in, we're in version five now. And be careful with this because if you Google Bootstrap Docs, the first link for me at least is actually linking to 4.1, which is an older version, right? So if you, if you go to their um, you know, homepage here, they will show you how to include Bootstrap. You can actually do it in two ways, but here I'm doing it with, the, with these links. So there are two parts here, the CSS part, which I'm linking to here, and then also the JavaScript part, because you know, with the dropdown, you're gonna be working with a click. Right, so Bootstrap needs to get access to the click event with JavaScript. So the JavaScript needs to be there. And it also includes something called Popper.js. Right, so that's already included in here in the latest version. These are the only two links that you need. So this script, by the way, when you copy this, you can put it in the head. But typically you want to be careful with putting these scripts in the head because it can... Um, it can uh, block building the rest of the page, right? As you, as the browser tries to load the page. So these days it's a best practice to add the dever attribute if you add it in the top of uh, the file in your HTML. You can also put it at the bottom of the of the body, right? Without the dever, that's a bit of an old school way. It has certain downsides, right? So it's really important actually that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals uh, when you work with Bootstrap. Those are both CSS and JavaScript. I have courses on them. Definitely check them out if you want to take your CSS and JavaScript to an advanced professional level. You can find the links in the description. Usually. Um, this is the problem that people have. So if this has not solved it for you, if you tried this and this did not solve it, then um, the second reason why the dropdown is not working for you is maybe because you still are using the old syntax. So here um, with these dropdowns, we have the, let's see, the data attributes. So in Bootstrap 5, these are called data-bs dash toggle right so this is what you want and in older versions this is called data toggle so make sure that it's a data bs toggle they added bs for bootstrap to differentiate themselves from other data attributes so make sure you try this as well right so there could be other ones as well that you're using so make sure you're using the modern syntax so if that still didn't solve it for you what you can also do is you can right click inspect and you can go to the console here and this should show you error. If there are any errors, it will show you errors here. So just read those errors. You can Google them and it will, you will be able to fix it like that as well. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.